What's going on guys, Tiger here with Tiger Uppercut Media back again with another Dokkan Battle video and as promised I'm bringing you a showcase of an LR Vegito Blue at 100% in the potential system and max super attack. I don't want to play any games today, <laughs> which is funny because I am playing a game, but I don't want to play any games today, we're just going to jump right in to boss rush and take him through a couple stages and see what kind of damage this guy can do because at the end of the day, that's all people really care about. You know, a new unit can have as many cool new mechanics as they want to give them, but at the end of the day, all people really want to know is, but how hard does he hit though? So we're going to tell you, we're going to show you how hard exactly LR Vegito Blue at 100% and max super attack can hit. Um, we're going to take him on super strength or super SDR because that is probably his best team in terms of links and support at the moment. One thing you'll notice is that I don't have the 40% Kaba on this team, so he's not going to have the best boost he possibly can. But the thing is, I do have this SSJ3 GT Goku, and he gives a very similar attack boost to Kaba. He gives 33% versus 40% for Kaba, which I think is acceptable. If you guys do mind the 7%, I'm sorry, I just didn't pull Kaba yet. I will try for him when he comes back with the Strength Banner. But to compensate for that, I'm going to give, uh, I'm going to add this SSJ2 Bardock on the team as well. So there's two attack supports. And uh, of course, I also have this SSJ2 Vegeta and Bulma, who is, I believe, I believe his best thinking partner. Don't quote me on that though. I think they're the best linking partners for each other in terms of key and attack, but I could be wrong. But they do give each other a lot of boosts, so um, yeah, let's let's jump into it, guys. Um, one thing I did want to mention is that I originally was going to do a whole full, sh full showcase with the Awakening stages from SSR to TUR to LR, and also do an SA10 to SA20 comparison. But one thing I thought about was, do people really care about seeing that stuff? You know, that, that takes a long time. That's like at least 5 to 10 minutes of the video just doing the awakening as well as the SA10 showcase first. And I don't know if people really care about that. So that's why I decided to not do it today. But if you guys do really care about this stuff and you want to see the awakenings and everything else, let me know in the comments down below. And for future videos, I'll definitely add that back for my showcases if enough people ask for it. So uh, this is awesome because we do have the LR Vegito Blue linked up with the Balma and Vegeta, which, I, like I said, they're probably the best thinking partners for each other. And uh, I think we can also get his super or ultra attack off as well, which is really awesome. Of course, type disadvantage, so it's not going to be as um, impactful. The damage is not going to be as crazy as it could be. But still, you can see what the number goes up to before he actually hits. One point, about 1.6 mil, guys. <laughs> For a free-to-play unit, that is insane. And he crits all the time. One thing I noticed is that um, mine is at SA20 in the potential, no, no, not SA20, he's at, uh, level 20 critical in the potential system, so, obviously he has a very high chance to crit, about 40%, but, like, I notice he, I feel like he crits even more than most units do at level 20 crit, I don't know what it is, but, like, this guy, I feel like he crits more than LR Trunks, who technically has a higher chance to crit, so that could just be me. Uh, maybe I'm just crazy, but um, yeah, that's what it feels like. Oh, by the way, before anyone gets triggered, <laughs> another thing I'm going to talk about right now is the free-to-play aspect of LR Vegito Blue. Um, a lot of people have been saying he's actually not a free-to-play unit, and the reason for that is because I, I understand people who talk about that, who say that, because He's technically not a summonable unit, you don't have to summon for him. Uh, but at the same time, because of the Supreme Kai missions that require you to have so many units with fierce battle, and most of those units are summonable, or you have to summon for most of those units because um, a fierce battle is usually reserved for you know top tier units, very strong units and there's not a lot of free-to-play units that have Fierce Battle. So at the end of the day, if you actually want to get LR Vegito Blue to his LR status, you will have to summon um, for a lot of these units that have Fierce Battle or just have gotten really lucky as a free-to-play player, which um, is kind of rare, right? So I, I totally understand where people are coming from when they say he's not technically free-to-play. And I also see the other aspect 
or other part where people are saying he actually is free to play because you don't have to summon for him so he is a free to play unit so i think look at that <laughs> look at that the two back-to-back -back crits first crit was 2 million this crit was 1.8 million this guy is an absolute monster but <laughs> as i was saying um he uh oh man <laughs> I keep losing my train of thought like this he is in a category of his own in my opinion i don't think he can be categorized as solely free to play i don't think he can be categorized as like fully pay to play like you know lr gohan lr trunks you know the the original or like all the summonable lrs are because he's not technically as hard to get as those guys um so yeah i think he's a category of his own he's kind of like f p to p free play to play anyways i don't know i don't know what it's going to be called but i think he's in a category of his own and if they start doing other lrs like free to play lrs like vegeto blue with some restriction that most free to play players won't be able to meet then maybe we'll have to create a new category for these kind of units aside from just the basic free to play and pay to play or pay to win or whatever you want to call it uh this is very very good rotation but what i actually want to do is get off mm, i don't know should i try to max maximize his damage output or should i actually try to show you what his um 12 key super does no, no, you know what, since we have the GT Goku right now with the attack boost, we're going to try to maximize his damage. And this should actually give him full bar. Oh, okay. Well, he's missing one, but that's okay. And then uh, next rotation, when he, don't, he doesn't have the GT Goku, then we'll do his 12 key. And uh, a lot of people actually are saying that they like his 12 key super attack better, which I kind of agree with. 2.1 mil, 2.1 mil. And is it going to be a crit? Is it going to be a crit? No crit, but still, 1 million... That's awesome, guys. For a, I'm not gonna say free to play, but for a kind of free to play, kind of pay to play unit, basically for a non summonable unit, uh, he is absolutely amazing. It's such such a strong strong unit. It's, it's so hard. It blows my mind. Um, <laughs> And uh, I'm going to heal up here because I don't want to die in the middle of this showcase, which has happened in multiple showcases. As you guys may know if you've watched my other videos. So I don't want that to happen today. Um, I don't really care if any of these guys get their supers off. So I'm just going to give them one orb or whatever so we can save those strength orbs for our LR Vegito Blue. Um, but yeah. So really, really good unit. Uh, if you guys don't have the units to get him... You can actually, I mean, there's not much you can do. There are certain free-to-play units that do have Fierce Battle. So there's that option. But if you're missing, like, more than a few Fierce Battle units, then it's, it's just a matter of time. You know, you just got to have to wait for new units, for different units to come out that you need for the Fierce Battle links. And hopefully you can pull them. Or hopefully they introduce more free-to-play units that have Fierce Battle. But um, there's, there's not much you can, more you can do. Aside from that, for now, if you're missing those units, I'm sorry, guys. But, I mean, the cool thing is just, you know, eventually you will be able to get him. Because eventually you'll be able to pull those units. So it's just a matter of having patience. Uh, so this is really awesome, because we will get his 12 key super off. And I love this super. He's like, come here, come here, I got a surprise for you. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> 1.8 mil no crit, look at that! I mean, I'm serious, okay. So this guy's attacked four times already, right? Four times, and he's crit three of those times. This guy is, like, I feel like he crits more than LR, go, uh, LR Trunks. I have LR Trunks on global. I mean, I'm all, over, I'm all over the place right now. I have LR Trunks on um, JP, right? I've had him for a while on JP, so I've played with him a lot there. And I feel like, like he crits a good amount, but he doesn't crit a crazy, crazy amount. And I feel like LR Vegito Blue, for some reason, actually crits more than LR Trunks. Even though LR Trunks has a 50% chance to crit, while LR Vegito Blue at 20 in the uh, in, at 20 critical level in the potential system should have a 40% chance to crit. I don't know what it is, but that's just how it feels like. Okay, um, let's see. Can we get his Ultra Super? No, it doesn't matter. I actually really like seeing the 12 key super. It's the same super that uh the tech vegeto blue has actually and i'm really glad they gave him that super because it's so sick 
<laughs> he's just such a troll. He's like, hey, hey, come here for a second. And the guy's like, oh, okay, uh, what's up? And he's like, surprise! <laughs> you die. Is it gonna be another crit? Is it gonna be another crit? Look at that. I'm serious. Like, look at that. 1.5 mil crit. That's five or six attacks now. I'm, I'm, I, I lost track, but it's like, that's like five or six attacks, and only one of them has not been a critical. So, unless, unless Bandai, I mean, unless I'm crazy, I feel like Bandai has built in some kind of weird mechanic in him that's not actually explicitly written on the card, where he has a higher chance to crit for some reason. Oh my god, I'm gonna save all those, all those strength orbs for Majito Blue. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I love this unit so much. I am so happy. I grinded for him. I invested the Kai's into him. I know in the future, they did give us an extra Vegito Blue, and the reason for that extra Vegito Blue in the Baba Shop is definitely because you will be able to farm a second Vegito Blue in the future, and use that to get his SA, his super attack to uh, SA20 with... His super attack to SA20. <laughs> his super attack to 20 are maxed out without using any Kai's. But here's the thing, guys. Um, here's the thing, guys. First of all, I don't want to wait that long. Who knows how long it's going to take for those Bratar earrings to come out. And second of all, I'm not down for that grind again. That was, the, the Bratar earring grind was not... Ooh! It was not easy. But we got a token attack. I'm going to try not to mess this up so we can get maximum attack output. Boom. Your boy doesn't choke under pressure. I come clutch. We got that full full Doken attack, so he's gonna do quite a bit of damage here. Let's see what he does. By the way, his 18 key super is not bad at all. Like, I think it's pretty dope still. 2.7 mil. Just a bit under 2.7 mil. That was a crit. Could have easily been 3.5 to 4 million. Oh my god, unbelievable, guys. And obviously, I'm not using any, like, crazy attack boost items because I don't think those are a true representation of how powerful a unit actually is. So I'm not going to be using like a Deburo cookie or anything like that because I don't, I don't really see a point in doing that. Um, okay, so here we go. And I just realized that I haven't been uh, <laughs> taking the SSJ3 GT Goku out of rotation so they can link up with the or actually at least give the boost to the Vegito Blue every once in a while. That's my bad. I'm just I just have like this reflex where I sh I'm like I have to put the Goku the two Gokus together cuz they have such good synergy, right? So that's my bad. <laughs> but I guess that's okay. As you can see, as you can see even without the 33% attack boost, LR Vegito Blue is still an absolute monster and yeah, I mean, this guy doesn't even have Fierce Battle. You got Shattering the Limit or Shaftering the Limit, but still, he doesn't need any of that stuff. He hits like a freaking truck. He hits as hard as a lot of LRs, to be honest. Like, he hits as hard as my... Pretty much as hard as my uh, LR Goku Black. Mind you, of course, that the LR Goku Black does not have any dupes in him, and this guy is 100% in the potential system. But for an LR, that is not summonable. I'm just gonna say that from now on. Um, for an LR that's not summonable, he is definitely, definitely top tier instead of, in terms of damage output. It's it's pretty crazy, guys. Um, so hopefully I don't, I don't think I'll die here if he gets supered. Yeah, no, he won't, because he, he's such a, Great tank, look at that, 53 damage! <laughs> he took 53 damage from SSJ4 Vegeta, who has type advantage and is by all means a boss that should be hitting quite hard. So one thing that doesn't get mentioned enough in my opinion is how powerful of a tank this guy is. He is an amazing tank, he, he has so much defense and he's taking double digit damage from like most most Dokkan, like Dokkan battle, Dokkan event fights. Um, oh man, this, I, I can't, I can't, I can't say more <laughs> great things about this guy. He is just so, so good. Oh, um, yeah. So, oh, I, I was talking about the Attack Vegeta Blue by, b before, by the way. Um, interesting fact, I read somewhere, and I can't confirm this 100%, but I believe it was Mobile Man in the Dokkan Reddit 
Dokkan subreddit who did this and he's the guy who does like all the calculations for a bunch of different units and he's fairly credible so I'm pretty confident with this claim but essentially he said that LR Vegito Blue hits harder than Physical Vegito Blue with two dupes or less. So at three dupes, Physical Vegito Blue will actually hit harder than LR Vegito Blue. Um, and for Tech Vegito Blue, if your Tech Vegito Blue has zero dupes, then he won't hit as hard as LR Vegito Blue. So conversely, that would mean that LR Vegito Blue hits harder than Tech Vegito Blue with no dupes. Which honestly is pretty impressive considering that LR Vegito Blue no, Tech Vegito Blue is quite broken in his own right. So for LR Vegito Blue to be able to hit as hard as him with zero dupes is pretty impressive in my books. I'm not upset about that at all. Okay, can we get another critical with full key bars? He's got a full 24 key right now, so this is as hard as he can hit without any boosts. Look at look at that tanking. Look at that tanking. 26, 67. Oh my god, are you serious? Give me a crit right now. Give me a crit. No crit there, but 1.3 million. I don't know, guys. That's that's pretty crazy to me. That's pretty crazy to me. So we're going to make this the last stage that we're going to take him on because uh, this video is running a little bit long. And my super strength team is like pretty strong, but I mean, it could be better. Uh, one thing that I want to tell you guys is that I do... Uh, I do plan to put out a uh, Super Battle Road video very soon. I think what I'm going to do, actually, I haven't touched Super Battle Road at all, by the way. What I'm going to do is actually, let's not die here. So let us use an Icarus just in case. But what I want to do is actually post my first ever attempt of Super Battle Road as a video. And whatever happens, happens. I'm not going to like... Like, <laughs> I'm not going to edit anything, I'm not going to make multiple attempts or anything. Whatever happens, my first attempt at Super Battle Road is what I'm going to be posting. And I plan to take my Super Strength team because I found that a lot of people are actually having a lot of success with the Super SDR team for two main reasons, in my opinion. Number one, SSJ2, Vegeta, and Bulma, which Japan never had. And that unit is insanely good, even though mine is at 55% in the potential system, which means it has zero dupes because I am was only able to pull oh my god we got the rage mode off that's dope okay <laughs> that's dope that's dope um because mine only has look at the reason mine has zero dupes is because i couldn't pull for the life of me i couldn't pull a second dupe or even a one dupe actually i couldn't even pull one dupe with like 700 stones it, it was stupid i literally i literally spent 700 stones chasing for a, a one dupe of the vegeta because I pulled his first copy with the first multi, you know, the one that's special where you can either get Beerus or Vegeta at the end. And I got the Vegeta and I was really happy about that. And I just wanted one dupe and I couldn't pull him in 700 stones. I have an almost rainbow Beerus, of course. Almost rainbow Beerus. Almost rainbow, um... Oh no, I think I do have a rainbow LR Go... Uh, no, not LR. Rainbow Kid Go 10, the Int one. <laughs> I have a nearly rainbow tech kid trunks and it's it's just dumb guys i'm i'm pretty pissed off about that <laughs> but what can you do oh i also have a rainbow um support int Wies from that banner as well so i basically pulled like stupid amounts of copies to almost two mil crit by the way uh, i pretty much pulled like a million copies of every single other featured ssr and that banner because it was a gssr banner if you guys didn't remember that and i just couldn't pull a dupe of the vegeta so that's pretty stupid but what can you do that's life right okay we're on the last stage now we're just gonna finish this up here i'm gonna heal up just because we don't want to die again like i said i die quite a f quite a few i've died quite a few times in these showcases and i don't want to make that a regular thing and uh we're gonna call it a day <clears throat> Oh, just for some real talks, by the way, if you might, if you may allow me to talk about some non doken related things. Uh, tomorrow is actually Chinese New Year, and for my Asian brothers and sisters out there, I guess Chinese brothers and sisters out there, and I know there are a few of them out there because I've seen you guys in the comments. You guys know this pain. We had some family friends over for uh, like an early Chinese New Year celebration dinner, right? And the first thing everyone says to me when they see me is, Hey, you got fatter. <laughs> like, 
Hey, 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 bruh. Hey, hey. There's a difference between being fat. If you guys hear that, that's actually the sound of my water kettle. It likes to make sing a song every time, uh, every time it's finished boiling. So I apologize for that if it's in the video right now. But there's a difference between being fat and intentionally bulking, which is what I'm doing. Okay, so you guys know me only with this moon face here because I've been pretty much on my bulk ever since I started this channel about two months ago. I've been bulking since about October, but. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to do any more. This is the end of the video. But essentially... No, what am I doing? Sorry, guys. Essentially, um, I'm going to be cutting back, cutting down very, very soon. So come like August, you know, September time, you guys will see a very, very different tiger. A much leaner and meaner. Well, not meaner because I can't really see myself being mean in any context, but... Much leaner tiger. I expect to actually um, probably be like 40 to 50 pounds lighter because I want to go to Fan Expo in Toronto in September as a topless Goku. So you know your boy is going to be shredded to the bone. That's going to be sick. So stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, okay. So back to Dokkan now. We just showcased this guy. As you saw, he is an absolute monster. He is stupidly good for what he is. And if you guys were wondering whether he's worth the orbs for his potential or worth the grind that's going to take, which isn't that bad to be honest, especially with the three times the XP going on right now, 100% yes, definitely do the grind, give him the orbs, give him the Kai's right now, unless you guys want to wait for like four or five months or whatever, how long ever it's going to take for them to give us the, pot the Potora, Potora, P Potara earrings to awaken the second LR Vegito Blue, so you can feed him into the first one for SA20. It's up to you. I would recommend Kai's, but do whatever you want to do. Hope you guys enjoyed the showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Also, let me know in the comments down below whether you guys think he's actually a free-to-play unit or a pay-to-play unit or somewhere in between. Hope you guys like the video. And if you like the video, then make sure to leave a like down below. I know that's different from what I usually say. And if you're brand new to the channel, then considering going to, down to that big red subscribe button, hitting that button, and joining the Tiger Squad today. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.